These are good. What about alchemy? Knowledge conversion. So, upgrades your knowledge conversion rate. So, control, uh, transmute control and transmute skill speeds. And then mysticism for even greater capacity for control, soul, and transmutations. So, okay. What does this do? Thaumaturgy quality, extra potions, some other things, and efficiency. And then rituals. Okay, so I think I'm about as capped out as I can possibly get. Yeah, because we haven't actually unlocked anything else that I can mess with. All right. In that case, I'm about as good as I'm gonna get. Oh, oh! I have three loadouts now. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to put something else in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but still. Let's see. Decided to play this game the other day. Made it up to the combat stuff and didn't enjoy the fighting mechanics. They're odd. They're not bad, frankly. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, let's just do a spirit fight first. Like, I can understand why people bounce off of it. From my perspective, it's kind of just a, a fun diversion. I do a ton of damage. It's mostly a special way of getting a couple of resources that you don't normally have access to. But can get access to later. Because most of the resources that I, I specifically need from here, most of them I can just kind of get on my own. I should really kill this guy. Except for what I really need to do is restock on mana. Okay. Sucker hurts. But I can kill him. Perfect. Yeah, let's just try and take out this guy before he kills me. Because this one's going to do enough damage. That I'm done. But we get a ton of ex ectoplasm, wizard wood, spectral dust, and soul. So expand ritual circle for another... Sure. Let's grab that. I think I'm going to have to do that again. I can also do a gravity fight. Oh, per maximum level reach. Wait. Oh. Wait, this is huge. Okay. Okay. I gotta not actually let them fight me. But yeah, this increases my, my space gain by like a ton. Okay, there we go. Restock. Keep taking up the little guys. Because I don't do that much mana yet. Uh, I don't do that much damage yet. Oops. That's fine. I know there's spells that give me an AoE too, and I should probably start messing with those. Ah, got it. Well, either way, my space total capacity has gone up, and my space gain has pretty much doubled. What else do we get? Ritual EXP, Ectoplasm, Spectral Dust, and some other bits. Nice. I'll leave that for later. Uh, let's see. So now we have access to more. Discover Ritual. I'm just gonna grab all of those. So now we have more rituals. So Introspection gives me base soul capacity, soul per second. Uh, let's see. Base stability capacity. Soul and, ooh, base ceremony per second, base knowledge per second. So the further I get in these, the more resource gain I get. Which I rather appreciate. Uh, let's see, we all rested and re relaxed? Looks like we are. I should probably upgrade my fireballs at this point. Oh. Would certainly help if I actually had maximized fire. I wonder if I can ever actually get it so I'm I'm regening my fire over time. Probably. Yeah, hopefully there's some way that I can automate being in fights. 
Because it would certainly... It'd certainly be nice if I, I didn't have to actively control what spells I'm casting here. It's not bad. It's just... Way more active than I was expecting. Okay. Tough bugger. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat these guys. Not with my Peasley HP. Yeah, they're not gonna get me. Well, it's fine. Uh, let's see, so now we gain half a point of ceremony per second and a ton of knowledge per second, plus other resources that I could use. Uh, let's see, so what's the other one? No, not gravity. Introspection? Introspection. Though, uh, let's go casting Fireball. Are they still level 1? They are. I'll up their price a little. They get kind of expensive. I'm just gonna make my enchantments really high level too. Ooh, that tight that takes up almost a million mana. Uh, is it worth it? <laughs> maybe, maybe, man. I don't, I don't fully know. Ectoplasmic memory. So, extra memory effect. Sure. Anything else I can afford while we're just kind of chilling. Elemental alchemy. Oh! Transmute the elemental derivatives of mana, energy, and blaze. So now we can just transmute blaze. And... A l huh. Okay, that's interesting. It doesn't get me much, but it does let me actually transmute energy now. Same thing with a little bit of blaze. I'm gonna have to go fight stuff to actually get to the point where I can do more with that, but that's still really helpful. Uh, let's see, anything in the workshop? No. We just have to keep fighting. Okay, cast Hella Enchantment, and... Get a smack in. Okay. Yeah, so the energy drain still applies, but the higher that gain is, the, uh... The higher the cap, like the baseline cap, mainly means that I can afford a couple of small upgrades and things that have an energy cost without having to have an energy production spell on hand to boost it up. Oh boy, these suckers are punchy. That got me, but it's fine. We get base soul and a lot of resources. Okay, max level eight. Haven't done this one. Sure. Guess I should probably have stocked up a little bit more. Okay, restock on mana. Yeah, we're good. I just have to make sure my... My sword doesn't run out ever. Otherwise we end up in a very rough place. Okay, drink potion. Continuously just destroy. Oh, that one had like a death skull. Freaky. Okay, well, I can get to level 9. I'm actually pretty impressed here. Okay, unfortunately, Captain Skullface is probably going to be what does me in. Because, <laughs> yeah, my... Yep, there I go. All of my buffs wore off, but it's fine. Okay, so that effectively gives me 50% more HP. That's great. Ooh. And that generates more for me. Let's do it. Fundamentals, maximum level is 10. Okay. 
active effect unavailable. So what else do we have? <laughs> oh boy, right. Lifestone is ridiculous. Uh, this one's doable, but if I just wait... No. We need a upper capacity. Like twice. I might want to just wait on that one. Probably could get a little bit more. What else can I upgrade? Because it definitely feels like we're getting towards the end of all of the things we can pot potentially upgrade here. Okay, alchemy. Transmute more energy. Maybe a little bit more blaze. Pricey, though. Okay, so what is apparatus command? That just gives me more control. Might be worth investing towards. Okay, threading station effect, thalmic thing, urnic paper gives me more, and soul forging. Oh, this is what we want to grab. Wasn't the thing costing 1 billion not meant to be purchased yet? Yeah. Okay, we now have soul forging. Okay, that just unlocks a bunch of things. After every kill per enemy level, gain blaze. Uh, combat skill production things. Well, soul smithing. Yeah, I, I guess we're just going to be here for a while yet. There's still stuff that I can't do yet, but we have this. Uh, crafting. Oh, right. We can even make these cognitive discs. And junk. Yeah, I definitely want... Uh, soul smithing or soul forging? Or is that the thing I just got? Okay. Because yeah, every time I get this, it increases this... Ooh, oh, wow, yeah. That actually does increase it by a fair bit. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Spirit stone. Base skill capacity, base soul capacity, and spoils gained... Thaumaturgy capacity and augment spell power. Might as well grab that. Oh, because I can just... I can, uh... Because I have the energy generation, I can just leave this on forever. If I want to. And I kind of do. We might as well get, like, a silly amount of automagic tomes. Here. Magic casting upgrade. Brainstorm. Upgrade that even further. What else do we have? Keep getting meditation. I mean, frankly, keep getting a little bit of everything. I'm just happy to finally have some level of progress. As I'd kind of just been leaving this game running for a while. And was holding off on buying anything spicy. And now it feels like I'm kind of on my way again. Okay, how are we doing? Eh, getting there. Yeah, I can almost just leave Brainstorm running constantly. Main problem is it's not, it's not that good. It's good. Yeah, let's just buy a little bit of everything. And then, yeah, whenever this maxes out, we keep investing in soulsmithing because... The higher I get my skill crafting, the more stuff I make. Because previously, yeah. Speaking of, oh, oh. Wait, hold up. Did I never upgrade my smithing spell? <laughs> okay. That would certainly have an effect. Okay, back to workshop. Boost. Let's just get my resources boosted up kind of hard. Max as much as I can. And then throw on the, uh, this smithing spell. Okay. How is Brainstorm calculated? Based on resource generation, casting time, or current? Uh, you can't boost it with this. There are certain potions... Oh, no, you can. 
Yeah, so you can boost it quite a lot. The main issue is just that you don't need that much. Okay. Crab smithing. Nope, not you. You. Okay, cool. Okay, get a couple of igneous cores. Ah, we're out of the other stuff. Because I know we're going to need igneous cores for at least a couple of things. I'm going to have to go fight a bunch if I want to get what I'm really looking for, though. Okay. I think we're golden. Get some soul smithing, get some skilled crafting, get, re get the rest of these. I mean, I think at this point we're good. Uh, go back to magic, go back to casting, go back to empowered smithing, make it even better. Cripes. Oh, it does cost 1.4 million magic, but I didn't spit in that spell is worth it. Okay. So I don't actually want to grab elemental pooling yet. I don't think. Okay. Grab a couple of pocket dimensions while we're just chilling. What else do we have? I think it's time for me to go back to combat. Oh! Ritual jumpstart. Start a ritual at a later level. At the cost of more resources. Eh. I... Oh no, that is actually pretty good. Okay, how's this looking? Nope. We still don't have the maximum. Because I think we just need to invest towards potential. So which one of these gives me soul, spirit? Okay. Other thing to note, I don't think I need brilliance as much. Whoops. That isn't helpful. So why don't we go back to magic, discover. Do I have any... I do have some new ones. So we can do dragon and arcane, which gets me beam burst, and then dragon and then nature, which gets me solar flare. So 10 second cooldown, all enemies 320 fire damage and everybody is slowed. Random enemy five times is just a ton of physical damage. Interesting. I feel like dragon flare is kind of neat. Let's move this over. Okay. Where's Dra uh there's also supernova. A long cooldown though, and to target row? Oh, but that's a ton of damage. I don't know, I feel like solar flare is probably a little bit better. Let's can I make it efficient? Yeah, let's just do an efficient solar flare, start leveling it up. Okay. I want to start doing that. Oops. That's the wrong one. Boost that, and one. Ooh. Yeah, it does about 2k in damage. It's good, and that slow is kind of handy. Great for wiping out groups, too. Okay, and then I've got hasten if I if I feel the need to. Okay, I do tons of damage. I gotta work on my potion duration, which reminds me my power potions are slightly out of date. Okay. Restock. How's my mana doing? Come on, cast the slow. Just keep cooking them. Keep killing the healers. Oh, he hurts. But that's okay. Got him. Hit them both. Oh, there's no way I'm beating these guys. Not with me not without my buffs which have actually turned off uh i mean if it wasn't for the fact that this guy was about to kick my ass 
It's enough. 100 soul and a bunch of ectoplasm and other stuff. Yeah, the further I go, the better off I am. So let's grab one of those. That gets me just enough space so I can potentially get one of those. We also have improved endurance. Yeah, it's worth it. Okay. See, I want to grab this as soon as I can. What else do we have? Apparatic command, which actually would have been really nice. And I want to save up for Flame's Bane. But unfortunately, we need way more ectoplasm than I have. Okay. Oh. I want to get the cognitive discs. Because cognitive automagic is big. I mean, a number of these are huge. But can I get advanced spirituality? So what do we do? Base defense. And recovery. I might even be able to start healing here. Let's see. I'm just going to wait until this ticks over. What else can I do under the wizardry tab? Because I am 90% certain there's some goodies that I can purchase in this this general area. Eh, it's an amount. Okay, recovery. So that's not a huge amount of uh, stability gain. Oh, and it's offset by the fact that I'm losing a percentage per second, but it's still good. It's still good. Okay, but yeah, we have healing now, which is big. So which one of these gives me the most amount of... Ectoplasm. None of them do. What else can I do? A little bit of extraction? Oh, that cost me a bunch of ectoplasm. I should probably not do that. But I might be able to alchemize it. Later. Okay. What else do we have? Thaum Thaumaturgy quality? Hopefully we can generate ectoplasm somehow. I don't want to have to keep fighting for it. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's another thing I should be doing. Brewing. Power potions. Okay, open inventory. Enter discard mode. Let's just drop all but like three. Hopefully it'll just burn through it. Otherwise, it might actually just upgrade it. We'll see. Let's see. How's the idle games going? Good. Good. This one's wild, as always. But incredibly solid. Uh, do we want to try this one again? Yeah. I don't think I can make this any better. Pop potion. Get into combat. Pop enchantment. And then start just destroying folks. Well, I do 20k damage per. That's solid. But yeah, the, uh... The idle gaming has actually been going, like, shockingly well for me. Uh, I... I always knew that I'd probably like these games, but I never wanted to get, get into them because I knew they would be unescapable. And I was right. Okay, before he, uh, before he pops. Nope. Wow, that, okay, that one dude in the back was quick. I really gotta go for those. Whoa. I got slowed down tremendously. Oh, probably because of the disruptor. Okay. No, they're all disruptors. Nope, got me. Well, I get a bit of base soul gain and a lot of ectoplasm and other things. It's fine. I think I might want to hold off on casting this because it lasts for 40 seconds. I might as well wait until I'm not doing a whole lot of damage before I hit either. That costs a lot, though. Let's not go in there. That is a bad place. Let's do fundamentals. Kick some basic butt here. Yeah, it looks like I do 15k damage just base. 
So I might as well wait until the enemies get into the point where they're doing that much damage to me. Or they have that much health. Okay. Definitely seems a little bit more valid. Okay, pop the boost. There we go. Get my mana back. At least that comes in an nth degree. Okay, potion next. Because, yeah, this is my issue. I was going into this guns blazing and I should have been much more patient. Okay. Only immediate problem is I am running out of mana. Okay, 64. Not too bad. We made it up to level 14. I mean, that's... That's better than I could have ever hoped for. That's a lot of ceremony and a lot of ectoplasm and some other stuff. Nice. Okay, so I could potentially do that for these other ones. Do you want to do that now? Sort of. I gotta wait until my potions are done. So let's see what I can do. Apparatic command? Yeah. Okay, printing station. There's also the scholar ceremony. Oh, which apparently is just free. Threading station or printing station. Threading station gives me knowledge, skill, and control quality. And this gives me extra paper and thalmic scroll gain. Both are good. Otherwise, no, we should probably get the cognitive discs. Okay, so just mash some cooldowns. Might as well get my Thaumaturgy back up. Uh, it still takes forever. Why? Ah. It's because my maximum capacity is just so freaking high. Let's see, so what has Shell been up to? Any games or projects she's working on? Moving. Uh, we are... Moving across the country in three weeks. And she's somewhat in charge of packing. Because I have to, uh, I have to record. Okay, so I'm going to do boost, boost. Nope, wrong one, boost. Okay, I've got the crafting boost going. Okay. So I actually have... I have enough to do another round of cognitive discs. Now I don't. But we need the igneous stuff anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna let everything roll. Okay. So after every kill, per enemy level, gain blaze. I mean, that's incredibly solid. It means I don't have to get anything back. Uh, sure. Spirit Blade. Oh, these are artifacts, though. Soul Powered Clocks. More mana and cooldown bonus. Wow, we gained a lot of levels there. Sure. I'll get the clocks. That'll give me more mana anyway. So there's Ritual Jumpstart, but I don't think I want that. I'll grab that while I'm here. Because the higher the efficiency, the better. Okay, let's just let that regain. Because the higher my efficiency, the better off I am. Ah, uh, what else can I invest towards? Oh, no, we can actually just get it. Four times the effect. So that drastically increases the amount of 
thaumaturgy that I'm just generating now. Okay, what else do we have? Cognitive mastery. 50% on deep memory. So that increases my memory effect, which is all of those. I mean, it seems good. I'll get like one point in, but probably not too much. And then I have to get some elemental pooling. Oh, it turns out I actually have a lot of this stuff. So yeah, we definitely want the blaze capacity. Okay, so what what's next for me? Uh, storm blasting, maybe. Dinner, maybe. Or we pop back to Realm Grinder. Because it definitely feels like we've, we're have we hitting our limits again. Not too bad. Uh, here, let's do a couple more fights until I can grab those. Did I ever check out the TU2 pots? I, you know, I had stopped. And I should not stop. Okay. Back to Elementia. Conjure was first, gets me the explosive. It, expansion gets me that one. Let's just start making whatever this thing is. I got enough potions. You are correct. Okay. I don't want a ritual jump start. Don't need that. Let's go back to this. Go back to magic for a hot second. Get an infusion. No. I mean, yes. I might as well just do heated infusion until I can't anymore. Yeah, good enough. Because it gets me some amount of mana. It's not huge. Okay, I think that'll be enough. So we wanted to... We've got our potions going. This is just kind of doing its thing. A little bit more soul smithing. Oh right, that's what I was gonna do. Casting. Upgrade spells. Let's go for that for the bigger blast. Alright. And we want to do this one. Oh, I'm out of juice. Uh, let's see, this one. Gives me enough control. And these guys are pretty weak. I do 3k damage. 3 to 6 6k? So once enemies are in the 3000s, then I will... Then I will hold off. Okay, it's a little bit of damage. Please, please desist. Where I come from, that is considered very rude. Okay, let's get the boost going. Get them all. Perfect. Okay, time for the potion. To last for 40 seconds. That's a good potion. Oh, right. Because I get uh, extra mana on kill, I'm efficient enough that I can kind of keep going. Wow, that was that a triple cast? It was definitely a chained multicast there. Okay. Give me gobs. Okay. Here's the unfortunate part. Ah, I lost it. It's fine. Massively increases my base soul capacity and soul gain, plus a ton of ectoplasm. Let's see, what was the other one? Did I want to do the same with curiosity? Absolutely. Oops, that's the wrong move. Give me some fire. Give me some brimstone. Activate. Okay. Yeah, so once again, we kind of want to just wait. Oops. We kind of just want to wait until the enemies are tough enough that I can't just hit them. Because if I can one-shot them, there's no point in me using really big expensive buff moves. Okay. 
a little bit more before it hits me. Yeah. I'm going to get hit here. It's inevitable. Okay. Get him with a three-parter. And blast him to hell. Okay. Drink the fire potion. Because, yeah, once I get past this point, I'm actually more or less able to pay for my myself. Because every time they die, they give me a ton. Okay, please die. Ah. Lost my enchantment spell. It might actually be worth it instead of the uh, cooldown. It, it might be worth it instead of the cooldown to actually uh, just go for a second one of them. Just duplicate the thing. That would make sense. Uh, let's see, what else do we... Okay. I should have enough for both of those. Urnic paper requires notes level... Ugh. I mean, doable. I might as well grab the spirit blade while I'm here. Empowered rest. Oh. I mean, that would be good. I gotta be getting close to the end, though. Uh, somebody that knows. You wanna clue me in? What is the... I don't want to say the maximum achievable. But am I actually close to available the end of available content, or is there more than this? Okay. Really wrecked myself today because of what happened with Crunchyroll's new acquisition. Lost so much sleep. Oh, is this in regards to... Oh, shoot. Who did pick them up? Shell's grumping. Is it... Is it another one of those Tencent acquisitions or something? Or is it somebody else? Oh. Well, no. Add. Country Wolves Funimation? Oh. Oh, I see. You wrecked yourself because there was so much anime to watch. I thought you were, like, upset. Because that's often <laughs> where people are at. Ooh, boy. Wait, no, no. I can, in I can up these. 1.5 million mana. It's worth it. There are a few upgrades you have left in the last... Uh, are the last of them that are left. There might be one or two more to unlock. Perfect. I don't know about you. I actually really like it knowing that I'm almost done. Because that means I can just kind of shelve this for quite some time. And then come back later and be like, I am a golden god. Let's finish this. Let's see, what else can I grab? I'm just gonna keep grabbing efficiency. Okay, anything else? A little bit of aptitude. Oh, I should probably quaff a potion, get that back. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to buff myself. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the band cap camp slash epic uh, acquisition, which is a 10 cent one. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like... I don't like the idea of Epic picking up things that are not game related. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably one of those odd people that doesn't really mind that Epic's on the market that much, but I do not like the fact that they're just kind of starting to absorb other companies. Yeah, because, yeah, they'd also picked up ArtStation, which feels very strange to me. Okay. Well, do we just get rolling? There we go. So do we want to just... Which one of these? I haven't done this one yet. And I should have plenty of mana. Hello. Just gonna get some fire. Never mind. Burn through it a little fast. Just delete them all. There we go. Okay, let's get one of the two enchantments going. Pop the mana potion.
Okay. And at this point, these guys are high enough level that they can just sustain. Yeah, I think having two two separate enchantments going simultaneously is the trick. Okay, potion go up. Hit him with the blinds. The healers can only heal. Holy shit. That is a tough sucker. But, I mean, we're up to level 14. I just don't think I can kill him. I need some more potions to be able to do this. Oh no, I got him. Grab this. Let's see, Epic has been ta taken by Tencent. Kind of, sort of. Epic was bought out by Tencent uh, quite some time ago. Uh, and they only have a 40% share, and I believe... I don't think they have a controlling share. But I'm pretty sure the CEO had, like, a chunk-ish where they have at least some level of independence. I still don't like it. Uh, frankly, I don't really like uh, corporate acquisitions for the most part. There's a couple where it's kind of okay. But if the company is healthy, uh, I don't know. If a company is healthy, I almost feel like they shouldn't be sellable. Wow, we definitely get a lot better stuff the farther we go. I don't know, it might be a bit of a hot take, but I always feel like uh, if you're going to sell a company, the employees deserve a chunk of it because you're technically selling them. Okay. Oh, God. See, never mind. I can't. I cannot get Aqua Blasting. I can probably get Storm Blasting. And we can definitely get Empowered Rest. What's your opinion on the Sony plus Blizzard one? Well, Sony didn't buy it. You mean uh, Microsoft? And I don't... So I think that's part of the reason why I said if a company is healthy, I don't really like the idea of buyouts because it doesn't feel right. However, Microsoft... Or not Microsoft. Uh, Blizzard has not been a healthy company for quite some time. And so the idea of them getting bought out doesn't feel so bad to me, just because, like, they desperately need new leadership, and, uh, you know, to some degree, a buyout makes a lot more sense. But I'm thinking of, oh, what's a good example? Uh, Runic? Was it Runic Games? Runic Games were the people that made Torchlight. They made Torchlight 1, Torchlight 2, and then sold out to Perfect World, who more or less cannibalized the company, uh, and... More or less said, like, hey, yeah, we're not going to let you uh, do what you want anymore. I mean, uh, effectively, they made Hob. Hob did terribly, and then Perfect World was like, that was your last chance. You know, be gone. It's like, oh, thanks, I guess. Because that, that company had a lot of promise. Made a mistake, but not one that should have just led to them getting devoured, company-wise. Do we even care about any of these? Really, it's just Ernic Paper at this point. Cloak of Flames is a little expensive. I don't feel like that. I could go for Storm Blasting, but that's just spells. And Torchlight 3 development. Uh, it was development held to broken. Well, part of it is they wanted to make it M an MMO. And then, turns out, MMOs are very hard to make good. Does anybody even play New World anymore? Because I think... <laughs> I think that's going to be the one that I always go back to. Of like, does that game still have a player base? I don't know. I was a good in aesthetic, but it was a little disappointing. Oh, absolutely. Uh... Like, I, I fully, fully know why it led to the downfall of Runic. They spent far too long making it, and then when it was done, it wasn't great. But I liked it, because it was, like, the first 
Zelda-ish game in quite some time. And so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to put more time into it. I, I thought it was great. But then they more or less just got absorbed and then it's like, hey, Torchlight Frontiers, it's an MMO with base building and everybody's like, oh, and I'm like, hi. I get it. Still not that good though. Okay. So we just want to get a shit ton of paper. Well. Why can I not cast this? Oh, because I need millions of mana. Your alchemy. Did you finish? It is. What is this? I have no idea. Well, you know what? I'm just going to keep making new potions. Because whatever it is... Oh, extra mana quality. That is good. Okay. Resources. Condensed time. Oh, no. I should have condensed time. Because we actually need this more than anything else. Okay. Are we condensing time? Yes. Get the craft. Throw the cooldown. Now we go back to this. Okay. And I've got crafting going. Oh no, what I need is paper. I need an endless... Deluge of paper. Oh no, we actually... We do want that. Oh my god, I can't stop it. It's so many resources. Thousands of paper. Tens of thousands of paper. How much paper is this? Mil 67 million. What did I do? I don't know how this happened. I must just be generating just so much comboed with all of my multipliers. Well, that was an insane amount of paper. Notes, 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 notes. Ernic paper. Cloak of Flames! Ah. Uh, well, that's a lot. Okay, let's take a look. Can I upgrade condensed time? Is that even sane? I don't know, but I can do it. I can do it twice. And that's about all I have mana for. Let's go back here. Condense time. I don't quite know how I was getting so much reflex out of that. It felt like something broke. But that's okay. Anyway, I think at this point... I mean, just looking at all of this. Now I'm just kind of waiting for the last couple of upgrades. And the other thing I can do is just leave the game running. So that it just slowly fills out a lot of these... Uh, higher value upgrades. If that makes sense. But for the most part, I think we are... I, we are done with Orb of Creation. At least until more gets added. Because, yeah, I, I can keep messing with almost all of this stuff, but it's going to be uh, time-consuming in a negative way. Or I can easily just kind of let it run, fill out a couple of upgrades here and there, and then come back to this in, like, two years once it's closer to complete, and then just be a ridiculous uh, resource machine. I'll grab Ritual Jumpstart just because. Because, yeah, I can't get Lifestone. So I, I think we're good. Nice.